Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I've got a fun little unboxing today. Um, so if you haven't heard yet, Christmas in July is in full swing. So um, this is this unboxing has to do with Christmas in July. Um, Christmas is my favorite, absolute favorite season, um, holiday of the year. And with everybody being stuck in the house and with, um, gosh, the humidity that is like morbidly ridiculous, like it will kill you. The heat is so hot right now. But anyway, um, I think that we all need a little bit of Christmassy whatever, you know, in our lives. So Christmas in July couldn't have come at a better time. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you this. I have had this kit for a long time. It's not a new one. It's an, um, I'm not sure when it was released, um, but it, and it's not super duper Christmassy. A lot of people may not even consider it a Christmassy one, but it totally is. It's the Little Tin Soldier. So, take a look at that. How beautiful is that? But there's some mistletoe up there. We'll look at it more here in a minute when I open it up. Um, it is a round with a B, 55 by 73 centimeter. Um, so let's open this up. I had actually, this is kind of a second unboxing, so to speak. When I first received it, I didn't even have a YouTube channel. So it was opened and then I put it all back in the box and I never... I, I actually had wanted to wait to do this till Christmas time, but then when the Christmas in July event started out, I decided, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. So if you're not familiar with the Christmas in July, I'll be sure to link some links down below in the description box. But um, Maritza from Kiss My Crafts and Mindy's Diamond Moment are collaborating together to put this Christmas in July event uh, together. So, let's get into this box. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Hope you had a safe and happy 4th of July weekend. So, yeah, you can see I've already been in it and looked at it, but let's pull. Here's the kit or the toolkit. There's the little paper. This is the older bigger paper. Mm -hmm. Here's the drills and an empty box. We'll set that off to the side. Okay. Toolkit real quick. Um, the hashtag. They have a fun hashtag. It's hashtag fall la la into July. Yay! Okay, so you get a pin, you get some baggies, you get a clear boat, funnel boat. You get a couple heart-shaped waxes there. And then you get a three-placer and a squishy for your pin. And I believe that's it. Okay, let's throw these back in here real quickly I have been organizing all of my kits lately because honestly <sighs> my kitchen table that's where I do most of my diamond painting and so like I have toolkits strode from here to Timbuktu and so I actually went through this weekend and like Divvy to all the toolkits out, put all the pins in one bag, all the waxes in one bag, all the trays in one bag. Just trying to make it make sense. Oh, look at all these colors, guys. So pretty. Oh, okay. Here we have a date. The Little Tin Soldier. April 14th of 2019. So this has been out for quite some time. Let's take a look at the canvas really quickly. I believe that this one, when I purchased it, it was on um, sale. 
And so I was like, uh, yeah, let me try to get things out of the way so, so I don't make a mess. Okay, so I have to um, roll this the other way. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. So it'll flatten itself out. Oh, wow. So, I actually, to be honest with you, the Little Tin Soldier, when I saw it on Diamond Art Club's website, I at first was like, oh, that's from the Nutcracker, the ballet, the you know, the Christmas ballet, the Nutcracker. Because I'm like a huge, that's something that we used to always do together as a family, my sisters and my mom and I would all go to the Nutcracker for Christmas. This is not wanting to cooperate with me. Give me just a second. Um, but we would go to the Nutcracker every year. And um, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's from the Nutcracker. And then I was like, mm, but is it though? And then I got to looking and Googled it and found out that there's actually a story um, called the Little Tin Soldier. So, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? See the mistletoe up here and over here. There's a little bit right here and there's snowflakes throughout. But you can tell they're in love. That's just beautiful. Her dress is insane. Look how beautiful her dress is. It's so big, I can't get it all in one shot. Let's see if I can, nope. But you can see, I mean, her dress is like bouffant. <laughs> she has a very big dress and he looks so handsome in his little soldier uniform. But anyway, the story of the little tin soldier Actually, um, from what I gather, there are several different versions of it on that I've seen on the internet. But so he was a, a toy made out of a spoon, I think, and he was there wasn't enough um, of the metal of the spoon to make two legs for the soldier, and then he saw the ballerina standing across the room, you know, and she had one leg up in the air because she was a ballerina, you know, and he was like, oh, she has one leg too. She's the perfect person for me. And then long story short, you know, they, they meet their untimely demise. But anyway, you'll have to check out the story. It's kind of a cool story, but... Yeah, I just loved it. I loved the, it, to me, it still just reminds me of the Nutcracker Ballet. And that's probably, you know, what I'll always be reminded of when I see it, just because that was my first thought, was the Nutcracker. So, this one has, let's see here, 43 colors, wow. And it has one AB, which is that yellow one. So that yellow one looks like it's sprinkled all throughout her dress and even some in her hair. You can see a lot of it in her dress. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's take a look. At, um, there's a key on the other side as well over on this side here is well the, this one does not have yeah it does, there it is I was gonna say does it not have a thumbnail there's the thumbnail image canvas is super clear as always 55 by 73 let's see how sticky yep very sticky Okay, now let's take a look at the drills. You wanna, you wanna, wanna, wanna take a look at the drills? Let's do it. 
Okay, a lot of drills. I'm getting a late start to the Christmas in July event because it is after the 4th of July holiday. Oh, wow. So this was long before Diamond Art Club put their um, diamonds in a train or string, whatever you want to call it. This should be interesting. How it was on top of the bag. So, yeah. I just assumed it was in a train like the usual, but it's not. So, you can see all of the pretty colors. Let's see if we can find that A, B. Did I say it was a yellow color? Here we go. I found it. There we go. Pretty. It looks like corn with um, a rainbow on top of it. <laughs> oh, so there's a lot of colors. It looks like a ton of 310. Of course, there's always a lot of 310 with Mandy Manzano. This is a Mandy Manzano piece. There's a lot of 939 as well, which is a navy blue. Here's some more 310. 310. Let's see, here's some 939s. Not seeing any more 939. And then we have um, 814 is a pretty color. I want to look at the drill since this is an older um, canvas. Ooh, what is that piece of stuff right there? See that? Okay, there's another piece. Got a little bit of trashy drills there. Um, oh, sorry. I was looking at the drills and didn't look at them through the canvas. Let's look at these three pins really quickly, shall we? Can't really tell that they look okay. Hard to see. Um, lots of greens and blues. There's a lot more colors in this than I thought that there would be because I see a lot of blue and a lot of orange, you know, in her dress and yellows. But there's, you know, a lot of um, other colors as well. I'm excited about that color green. I like that shade. Very pretty. And this one. I love anything teal-ish. They're my favorite. All right. That, that's pretty little, like, lime green. All right, guys. Well, there's too many to like show you like I normally would. But anyway, I wanted you to be able to see this pretty thing. And let me know in the comments below if you are participating in the Christmas in July event. Um, again, I'm going to share all of the... Um, I put all these back in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to share all of the links, um, videos, and things that with information that would be helpful for you for the Christmas in July event down into the description box down there. So if you are on mobile, right underneath this video should be a little. Um, grayish colored like upside down triangle that is supposed to be an arrow you can click that to get to the description box uh, if you're on a laptop uh, or macbook or something like that then you should be able to just click the word show more 
underneath the video to get all of the description information. I will link this canvas as well from Diamond Art Club on in the description box. Um, if it's still available, I believe it was on sale. I'm not sure if it's still available um, or not, but I will link it. And if it says that it's out of stock, you should be able to put your email address in to be notified when it comes back into stock if they're still carrying it. Um, I was gonna look real quick at the canvas one more time because I wanted to kind of show you um, some more of the detail. But I was wondering about like any color blocking or a lot of confetti. So it looks like down here, there's some color blocking, but also there's some little bit of confetti thrown in. There's um, some color blocking here. Of course, all of the outlines are 310, so that's a, you know, a little bit of color blocking um, in between. Um, let's see, not a lot of color blocking throughout. Looks like up here there's quite a bit of color blocking. But those snowflakes, you guys, um, let me see, it's the plus symbol. Am I missing it? There it is. 37.56 is the color. I might actually make an order for Tina's sparklers and like make those snowflakes shine. Yeah, because there's a lot of snowflakes in this. You know, and I think that those should stand out really nice. Sorry for that overhead light glare. Yeah, but anyway, this is super pretty. I just love her face. And I love her hair and her dress is just gorgeous. All right. I'll leave all of the important links below in the description box. Make sure to click the thumbs up if you like this video. And also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to be notified. Ding, ding, ding the next time that I upload another video. So you guys have a fantastic day and um, I will be kidding this up very, very soon, like ASAP, because this is my Christmas in July event and we're already headed into the second week of July. So I gotta be getting my um, tail in motion. So, all right, I will see you guys soon. Have a great day, bye.